try to set this. Try to set this camera up the right way. Old lady was populating. I'll start this reconnecting garbage. You heard? Kenny Bronco was really good. Showing some El Famous, you a funny dude, man. Hit me up on a lid of El Famous like he can hear me. Lay, lay back at it, man. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to put dudes on to the garments. <laughs> you spot these, you, you spot these specific garments. You go the other way, you heard? You see that dude pop up with that Nietzsche jacket on. You already know what it is, you heard? Man, Bez was pop. I was so tired, I fell out. I just woke back up, kind of, you heard? Rico Brad, what up? Roby 16 was really good. Yeah, man. You know how that shit feel when you when you when you slept and then you wake up and later on in the day and it's nice and breezy outside. Shit feels great. You heard? I feel like going downtown and shit, but I don't feel like driving. I'm tired of driving. Anytime television was populating. <laughs> Katie Kid was was really good. If y'all ain't leave a comment, if y'all ain't leave a comment on that new episode that I dropped today, make sure y'all go leave a comment on that. You heard? Make sure y'all go leave a comment on that. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I'm sending out the warnings to, to people that this is just thinking about going to meet up with Lele, man. Lele fucking with them dudes that's still wearing a Nietzsche. You heard? You pop up and you see a nigga pop out with a Nietzsche jacket on, nigga. You know it's over for you. Lele fucking with niggas that be rocking bear. <laughs> uh, you said Lele fucking with some brolic niggas still rocking bear coats. Her yellow bear coat on. You see that nigga pop up with that yellow bear coat on, nigga. It's over. That's a fact. But yeah, man, I'm just chilling, man. Mighty Lord was really good. I'm just coming, you know how I do, man. Pop up at nighttime, smoke a little blunt with the team. Know what I mean? Smoke a little blunt with the tis name, you heard? Know what I mean? Shout out to the homegirl Toki in, 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 in Baltimore, Maryland. You heard? I was putting together this, this project. Getting this project popping, you know what I mean? Putting my drawers, I'm under pressure. I'm under pressure. The stressor got me thinking niggas at the me. Must have paranoid to blink. Wonder why the police don't want to see me stacking G's. They have to play it, but I won't let her catch me. I gotta thank the Lord for the weed and the nicotine. I can't sleep, close my eyes and see wicked things. I keep my pistol by my bedside. One in the chamber, preoccupied with homicide. My life's in danger, hand on the 4-5. That's what the fame does. Forgot what else that nigga said. I never know, but I'm probably, I'm probably wrong, but I never know until I'm gone. So I'm out the gutter where the jealous motherfuckers grown. Pass the weed, let the Hennessy get to me before the penitentiary. Let's get it on.
You're it. Niggas don't know Pac versus like that, man. I told y'all niggas I'm a Pacologist. You feel me? So I be knowing them verses, baby. I be knowing them slurses, baby. You know what I mean? We need some motherfucking benches over here, son. God damn. God damn. Can I sit this down? Louis V was populating. South Shore was real good. Swaggy Stewart was popping. Polo the Dawn was really hood. Yeah, man. Make sure y'all go leave a comment on that new episode I just dropped today. Bing Monster with the Bro Shadow. Make sure y'all leave a comment on that or two. Comment gang in the building. Make sure y'all leave some comments on that. Bombing tomorrow. I'm bombing tomorrow with that first episode of season two of that story of LG. Yeah. Bombing tomorrow with that. Maybe tonight, depending on, I don't know. Yeah. If YouTube was to act right, if YouTube was to act right, something might bang off tonight. Depends, bro. Yeah. Windy out here, man. I hope it don't start pouring rain. Cause I'm type far from the Kiznar yurt. It's your meal was popping. My brother appreciate you, man. Cali was really good. Little tab was populating. Ninth power was really good. Man, they gotta start letting niggas play the music on live, man. We be jamming on this motherfucker. If they let niggas play music on live, we be on here jamming, baby. We be on here jamming, baby, because you know how I get, man. I start talking about my R&B playlist. My shit chunky. My shit chunky. My R&B playlist is chunky. I was looking through that shit the other day. I was going to the bottom of my shit, because I don't never really make it to the bottom of my shit. And I was going to the bottom of my, my R&B playlist. Shit was crucial. Shit was crucial, baby. And that's a fact. Let me see what the fuck they talking about. Let me see what they talking about, baby. What I got at the very bottom of my... What I got at the bottom? What I got at the bottom? What I got at the bottom? Hmm. Jesus, let me tell you something, bro. I got stuff like Force MDs. I got Force MDs, motherfucking um. Come on, bro. My mind is my mind is this is blowing, drawing a blank, and I just saw it and scrolled off of it. But I got a few Force MD joints on here. That's miraculous. Tender love is what I was thinking about. I got that tender love on his playlist somewhere. You know what I mean? I just scrolled past that shit now. I don't see it. But that tender love, tender love, love so tender. If y'all young bucks never heard that song by the Force MDs, Tender Love, you're not black. You heard? You're not black until you listen to that song 14 times on repeat. After 14 times on repeat, then you could apply for your black card. You heard? But if you don't know that Force MDs tend to love, you got to reapply. You got to reapply for a black card, bro. The black card has been rejected. But now nah, that Force MDs tend to love. Man, listen, man. My shit I was bumping the other day. What I was bumping yesterday, I was bumping that Michelle A, nigga. That's one of the greatest songs ever made. That Misha Lay, Something in My Heart. Oh, my God. I don't know what they was doing at Death Row Records. I don't know what they was doing at Death Row Records at the time. But everything was supposed to stop and go on it, nigga. Because that shit, her, her shit, period. All her shit. 
But that motherfucking record right there, Michelle, something in my heart, ain't nothing. And when I say nothing, ain't nothing fucking with that, bro. Ain't nothing fucking with that. I don't care what it is, nigga. Throw that shit on, nigga. That shit gonna bring peace and harmony to the to the whole world. But that shit that me shall lay something in my heart. Something in my heart. Something in my heart. Ooh, that shit crazy, bro. That shit crazy, my nigga. I'm telling you. Ain't nothing fucking with that. What else I be listening to? I saw that new... <laughs> I saw that new meme on about Genuine when that nigga Genuine was trying to bust his old moves on the stage. Shit was looking wild. My son was looking like he was pulling a walker. You heard? Like he was an old man with a walker. All the, all the thing that was missing was the walker. I said, yeah, bro. You get to a certain age, you got to leave them, them dance moves alone, Lord. That nigga shit was looking wild, but that nigga genuine, psh, that nigga all over that playlist that I got, my nigga. My favorite shit is that. Um, I like now, nah, I like both. I like that. So anxious, that shit crazy, and I like that. Um, um, you turn me into a man. I'm so responsible, and I owe it all to you. My whole life has changed differences since you that nigga shit crazy. Genuine was crazy, son. That nigga was one of the most slept on R&B niggas of all time, bro. That nigga was crazy with it. Her, that nigga bust out the gate. Wow, talking that pony shit. Nigga was over sexual. Right, my pony. That nigga was doing that dance. He was ODing on that pony dance, my nigga. Nigga shit was looking crazy. My shell, who coming, jump on it. Nigga was saying wow shit. Niggas had some wild ass R&B back in the days, nigga. Nigga Cisco and them niggas. He had some wild niggas, my nigga. <laughs> nigga said Jesus walked on water but Cisco walked on bitches that meme is funny as a motherfucker nigga said Jesus Christ walked on water but Cisco walked on bitches nigga nigga walked across bitches and motherfucker <laughs> in thong video that nigga just walked across a sea of bitches like the fuck is y'all niggas talking about word up my nigga story of timbo coming soon my nigga i can't blow it up yet but the story of timbo is coming soon baby Schler. kx was populating my brother hakeem thomas was really good grant wood grain was really no name bounty hunter was popping David Oway was really hood. Buki Chase was popping. Tales from the Pen was popping. Dante Diamond Peace was really good. Snow the Ledge was popping. Yeah, now them Force MDs joints is different, my nigga. This is different. You heard? Then I got a playlist in my shit. I got a playlist on my shit that just say white shit. You heard? I told y'all niggas before. And I mean, my daughter be requesting that shit. Can you put on the white playlist? Like, chill, Lord. But I got a playlist just called white shit. You know what I mean? When I get in my white shit mood, I got to throw on my motherfucking, uh, that's when I go throw on my motherfucking, um, uh, 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 uh what's my girl name, man? Damn, man. Fuck, man. Uh, I'm drawing a blank, man. I'm gonna have to pull up the white playlist, man. I'm gonna have to pull it up, man, because I'm drawing a blank right now. Nah, man, Adele ain't white enough for me, man. 
When I go white, I go all the way white, nigga. Yeah. When I go white, I'm going all the way. I'm going to tell you who I be listening to right now. Hold on. I got a playlist called Crush Chicks. I changed it from... But when I mean Crush Chicks, I mean songs that no female could resist. When you put it on, you smash them. I don't see, I don't see my white playlist, man. I have my joint. Hold on. No niggas ain't delete my white playlist. No niggas ain't delete my white playlist, nigga. Oh, here go my shit right here. It's called White Ish. <clears throat> oh. Ooh -wee! Listen, I don't want to click on stuff and get copyrights. But, um, first, number one on my list. Number one on my list. Clinton Correctional Facility. Oh, you bitch ass CEOs. But, like, yo, listen. My white shit, my white shit playlist. First thing on the list, Gabby Barrett. Know what I mean? I hope. That's my shit, nigga. If you ain't never hear that Gabby Barrett song, I hope. That is my shit, my nigga. And then I hope she cheats. Like you did on me. That shit crazy, nigga. I hope it, yo, I ain't even gonna start fucking up her bars, know what I mean? 2 a.m. pink from a friend. Huh? Then she got the remix with Sun. Oh man, that I hope shit. Country. Niggas be sleeping on that country. I love country music. I'ma keep it real. Not all of it, but some of that shit resonates, you heard? And that's one of them. But Gabby Barrett, she's a problem. She's a major problem in the game. I'm telling you. We talking new age shit, cause I be, I be, I listen to white. Remember, I got a 14 year old teenager, so you know they done turned me out to that to, the, to that 14 year old teenager music. So I be listening to all of that shit. Boom. Oh, this is my other shit right here. I promise you, Ashley Price. When the bones are good, the house don't fall when the bones are good. That shit is fire, nigga. You heard? That shit, when the bones, when the bones are good, it just don't matter, man. That shit crazy. Woo. Telling you, nigga, y'all niggas don't know about that country. Listen to that song, when the bones are good, nigga. That shit go hard, nigga. When the bones are good, it just don't matter. Yo, she murdered that song, son. She murdered that song. You heard? Let me tell you what else. Oh, oh. My my homie of all homies, Sabrina Carpenter, on purpose. That's my all-time favorite white song of this of this era, of this of this generation, two thousand whatever. That's my all-time favorite white song, son. Love it, love it, love it to death. You heard? On purpose. Guess I did it on purpose. That's my shit, nigga. That's on repeat three or four times when I'm with the kids. They be like, take that back. You heard? We be banging that shit out. I let I make my kids listen to everything. No, I might I, I be dry. I let my you know my daughter name is Afini, named after Tupac mom. So I be making her listen to that PAC. So you know they got the the, the Pac channel on Sirius Satellite right now. They told me it's only for the month of June, but they got the Tupac channel. So I just be bumping the Tupac channel, letting my daughter hear that shit. A nigga like me need to be programming that Tupac channel though, my nigga. You heard, I know y'all niggas probably got inside niggas programming it, but I mean, it's different from a straight fan. You heard? It's different from a straight fan. Like, I'll, I'll program the shit out that station, nigga. You heard? Some of that shit y'all be playing, I don't know. But I'm telling you, nigga, my, my Tupac playlist game is differential. But I'll be making my daughter listen to that pop. I'll make her listen to disco. I'll make them listen to old school 80s, 90s, 2000s. All of that. You're going to know all that music, my nigga. Is that music running the blood in this family? Let me see what else I got on here. Sabrina Carpenter, Smoke and Fire, Sue Me, Zara Lawson, Lush Life. Like, ain't too many bitches fucking with Zara Lawson. I'm going to keep it real with you, my nigga. She's an animal. She's an animal. That Lush Life, that's my summer anthem. Any, any, forever, nigga. Anytime it's summertime, I'm going to be bumping that Lush Life track, my nigga. That shit crazy. So if you don't know about that Zara Lawson, you better get up on that broad. Because everything she put out is fire. And that's a fact. I'm telling you. 
She's an animal. She got that, you can ruin my life, you can ruin my life, you can ruin my life now. I don't like the dirty version though. She should have just kept it clean, my nigga. I mean, y'all too youngy. Like youngy people want to curse too much. Like when you young, you be happy to curse and shit. Like cut that shit out, nigga. Nobody don't want to hear that cursy shit. Let me see who else I got on this shit. Oh, B. Miller. B. Miller's an animal. B. Miller, if you ain't up on B. Miller, nigga, you, you lacking. You lacking, son. B. Miller, she's an animal. Roof B. Appreciate that cash app donation, my brother. I appreciate you. That's a fact. Roof B. Dandelions. Lost boy. If you never, if you don't know who Roof B is, you better go run and find out. I think she's from Canada. You better go run and find out who Roof B is, my nigga. Cause she's gonna be a mega star. You heard? She already is a star, but she's gonna be a mega star. So get hip with her. She got a joint called Lost Boys to, 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 to the Pinocchio movie. My God. Go look that shit up. Roof B Lost Boys, nigga. I am, that should have you singing that Peter Pan anthem for the rest of your life, nigga. I am a lost boy in Neverland. Uzi, yo, I don't even want to play myself. But listen to that Lost Boys by B with your kids. If you're in the car with your kids, put them on to that Roof B Lost Boys. When they hear that, they're going to be like, throw that back on 30 times, please. I'm telling you, bro. This broad is a phenomenon. I mean, Roof B, she's a beast. I think she's Ethiopian. She's some African. I can't remember what African she is, but she's from Canada, I think. I think. I don't want to fuck her whole shit up. But I'm telling you, she's an animal, my nigga. She's an animal. Black Play 456 was popping. Deshaun Jackson was really good. King Far Rock. Yeah, I'm just going down my white playlist right now. You heard? Putting y'all niggas on these good white songs that y'all don't know nothing about. Let me see what else, man. What's this? Oh, Gabby Barrett. The good ones. He's one of the good ones. Woo! If you ain't hear that song, you missing out, my nigga. He's one of the good ones. Nigga said, he's good all the time. He's one of the good ones. And he's all mine. Son, that country, son. That shit be hitting, son. They be blowing, son. They be blowing. It ain't that cheap pop bullshit with niggas be half singing they be singing in country my nigga them niggas be blowing in country son i don't know if her name is pronounced halsey or hate hate or haze halsey i think it's halsey but that graveyard shit i would have followed you up way to the graveyard that halsey joint graveyard that shit is a monster, nigga. Trust me. This playlist that I got, it ain't no joke, son. This shit ain't no joke, son. That 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 whole Z shit or whatever her name, Graveyard, that shit is a blazer, my nigga. That shit is a hit song. Let me see what else I got on this shit, man. Got Weird Al Yankovic, eat it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have a stupid shit. I got Weird Al Yankovic, eat it. Just eat it. That nigga was wilding on that eat it song. I'll be having to listen to that every once in a while. You're, oh, I do got some I do got some uh, Adele on here. Easy on me. I got that on here. You heard? I got Blondie Heart of Glass. That's my shit. Jump, jump, jump. Then I'm Heart of Glass. That's my. I got Soft Cell. Um, um, motherfucking Tainted Love. You know that's the that's a monster hit tainted love i don't give a fuck what nobody say niggas throw that tainted love on in the club it's going down nigga any race color creed that tainted love come on tainted love that shit come on niggas is, niggas is jumping that club gonna jump period let me see what else i got on this bitch got that halsey shit without me let me see man I got Michael Jackson beat it on the white on the <laughs> I got Michael Jackson beat it on the white playlist. What, what's going on there, bro? Oh, Luke Combs. Listen, y'all don't know nothing about country. 
Listen to this song right here called Doing This by Luke Combs. Son is a legend. You feel what I'm saying? Already a vet. But he got a song out called Doing This where he is shitting on niggas, my nigga. You got to hear it for yourself to understand. Basically, the concept of the song, he's saying doing. He said a nigga asked him, if you wasn't doing this, what would you be doing? So he like, nigga, he like, I, without the fame, without the lights and cameras and all of that, I'll still be doing this, nigga. You heard? So you got to just listen to the song because that shit crazy, my nigga. That shit crazy. You heard? But Luke Combs doing this. I'm telling you, man, my, my music game is broad. Sure. Richard, what's really good? You already snow bunny. Point guard, what up? I be wanting to say you are a snow blower, but that won't be sounding too right. Hold on one second. One second, man. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me, hold on. So I got this nigga. Let me see if I got this dude number on my other phone right quick. Hold on one second. One second, one second. Nah, I don't got this nigga shit. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. I forgot what movie we got that shit from, but we used to say that shit crazy up north. I forgot what movie that shit. Like, anything that, any little things. We was in Camp Gabriel 95 up north. Any little thing that happened, that's what nigga said. Damn it, man. I forgot what fucking movie it was. West Indian nigga said that shit in a movie and we just started saying that shit. Police be like this. The yard is closed. Niggas be like this. Damn it, man. The whole fucking jail was saying that shit. You heard? I ain't gonna lie, son. Niggas will tell you. I done had whole jail saying shit. I gotta tell that story. Word is bond. I, I ain't tell a story on how I had the whole jail saying. I told that before, but I ain't tell it formally. Did I tell that shit? I don't know if I told that on Happy Hudson. But I had the whole Happy Hudson, the whole Hudson, I had the whole Hudson saying, it's right here, right? You know that shit from Eddie Murphy? When Eddie Murphy was talking about the Italians, he was like, yo, Italian niggas hold their dicks more than us. Say, you know them niggas standing around like this. Hey, what, what, what am I, fucking asshole? What am I, jerk off? Get the fuck out of here. It's right here, right? So then I had the whole Hudson saying that shit. It's right here, right? You know you're not supposed to play beef games up north. So niggas wasn't grabbing their shit when they say that. But niggas used to be like this. Everything niggas said out their mouth, niggas was like this. Yeah, hey, I got your fucking uh that's a niggas be like this. Son, yo, yo, bring my silk shirt to the yard. I'd be like this. Yeah, I got your fucking silk shirt. It's right here, right? I got your fucking silk shirt. Nigga, the whole jail was saying that shit, my nigga. Niggas that we ain't fuck with, police, everybody was saying that shit. The police was like, I got your fucking, uh, no matter what nigga said. Know what I mean? Straight up, no matter what nigga said, nigga said that shit, bro. Niggas be like, yo, son, you going to work out tomorrow? Nigga be like, yeah, I got your fucking, uh, workout. I got your fucking workout right here, swinging, you right? Niggas was playing mad games like that up north, I'm telling you, son. My nigga murder, <laughs> murder, I tell you, son. Me, that, me and that nigga all day long. Anything a nigga say, anything. Niggas be waiting for a nigga to say something. Nigga be like, niggas be quiet. Nigga be like, yo, I'm going to the gym, I'll be back. Niggas be like, I got your fucking gym. <laughs> I got a gym for you, all right, <laughs> right here. You heard? I'm telling you, son. It was we was we was real childish up north, son. We was real childish and petty, son. You couldn't say nothing, nothing. Straight up. But now we used to have dumb fucking fun. But yo, ah oh, man. Niggas was wilding with that right here shit though. He said, yeah, I got your fucking uh <laughs> I got your fucking live chat. <laughs> hey, I got a fucking donation for you, alright. Yeah, I got a fucking cash app donation for you, alright. Big one. Some niggas had everybody saying that shit, some police, everybody. That's my word. <laughs>
<laughs> niggas had serious niggas that don't play games like that. Even they was saying that shit. We was catching niggas like, yeah, nigga, we caught that. He'd be like, I got your fucking. Some niggas would just say that shit under their breath. Like, oh shit, a lightning bug. Nigga be like, I got your fucking lightning bug. Right here, swinging. You heard? <laughs> Eddie Murphy. That nigga fucked niggas up with that, son. Nigga said, I was watching that shit yesterday, man. I was mad. At <laughs> I'm foul. I was showing that shit to my daughter. I was like, yo, listen, when you turn 16 years old, I told my daughter, I said, yo, when you turn 16 years old, I want you to watch Raw, Eddie Murphy Raw, and you're going to know everything you need to know about life as a human being. She's like, what? What's that? I said, Eddie Murphy Raw when you're 16, and when you're 18, you can watch Delirious, but don't watch Delirious until you're 18, because Delirious is just, just don't do it to yourself. You heard? But when you watch, when you turn 16, I want you to watch Eddie Murphy Raw. You heard? That's all I'm telling you. And that's the wisdom you're going to need in life about anything in the world. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that shit I was watching, I was showing a clip to my daughter, the shit with Rocky. The nigga said, <clears throat> nigga said Italian niggas come out. Of, <laughs> nigga said Italian niggas be coming out of Rocky Pump. All right, Rocco. All right, Slaw. He said, hey, Bison, you going in there to see Rocky? He said, it's a great fucking movie. You know, I don't want to ruin it for you. I, I don't want to ruin it for you, but Sly wins this one again. He said, you know, you, know what I love about, you know what I love about Sly's movie? The realism, you know? He <laughs> said, you know, big, he's fucking big mooly on. He's cracking him down. He's busting his skull. He's not going down. He's not fucking going down. He comes in. He cracks the moolies fucking whole skull wide open. You know, you can really do that shit. Yo, that shit, son, listen. That shit is going to always be the funniest stand-up comedy of all time, nigga. Raw. Nigga said, give me some, uh, he said, yeah, uh, give me some, uh, juju beans. Some junior mints and uh, let me get a couple of more of those junior mints and this nigga's gonna pay for it. <laughs> he said, You heard me, nigga. Pay for my fucking candy. Yo, that nigga Ed stupid, son. He said, You see that big, he said, You see, you know, could really do that shit. He said, You see that big black guy over there? You see that big black Moulion over there? He's about 6'5. Now I'm 5'2", but I'm Italian. You watch this. You watch this. <laughs> that nigga's stupid, son. That nigga said that nigga's 6'5". Now I'm about 5'2", I'm about but I'm Italian. You watch this. Oh, that nigga Ed is stupid, son. <laughs> That nigga said, you ever heard how Italians talk they women? So you ever heard? He said, we're looking over there. For you. Look, look over there again, I'm gonna pick up a fucking glass and shove it in your fucking mouth. What the fuck you looking over there for? He's a fucking mooly. Nigga said, he pushed me. That nigga, hey, it's stupid, son. On the low, a lot of niggas don't know. Keenan Ivy Waynes was writing a lot of that, or a lot of them jokes, my nigga. You know, there's a business behind this business. Keenan Ivory Waynes was writing a whole lot of those jokes, if not all of those jokes, my nigga. That nigga's a bad motherfucker, Keenan Ivory Waynes. He's the real funny man behind a lot of shit that we found hilarious over the years. It was Keenan Ivory Waynes' pen game. That nigga's an animal. You heard? Like my son, um, what's son name? Um, Kenya, what's her name that make black as fuck and blackish? I heard they didn't renew black as fuck for a new season. That's my favorite show of all time. Black as fuck. Fucking love that show, nigga. That shit is hilarious, nigga. I don't know how the fuck. I heard Charlemagne the God was shitting on it, saying it wasn't funny. Nigga, that shit is fucking hilarious, nigga. I don't know what the fuck that nigga was watching. Talking about it depicted black niggas. Man, that nigga rich, man. That nigga filthy fucking rich, man. How he supposed to live? Fuck that, nigga. You filthy rich. You shining, nigga. You doing you, nigga. 
but that nigga wardrobe on that black as fuck. That nigga wardrobe is you should have hurt a nigga feelings. You thought you was fly till you watch black as fuck. You be like, damn, I thought I was fly. I'm not fly though. I'm a little bit fly. L famous, but nah, Lele is a fictional character, my nigga. Lele is somebody that comes in the chat room pretending to be a, a, a stripper or whatever she is. So we be joking and fucking with her and playing with her because we know that she's not a real person, that she's actually a motherfucking troll. So we just play along with her trueness. Know what I mean? We play along with her trollness. Don't fall for the trap, my nigga. Because if you fall for that Lele trap, you see the thumbnail of this live. Lele fucking with niggas that still rocking Nietzsche jackets and motherfucking spot belts and shit like that. You heard? You fuck with. You can't fuck with Lele, son. <clears throat> pop up on Lele. Nigga pop up on Lele thinking he getting some pussy, man. Know what I mean? I'm telling you, son. Big nigga from Edgemere just pop out. Big nigga from Edgemere just pop out with one of those old school Scarface jackets. Remember them black and white jackets that had Scarface on the back? Nigga pop out with one of them old school black and white Scarface jackets from off of 149th and 3rd Ave. Know what I mean? A nigga pull out that motherfucking black jacket and, that, and them brass knuckles. Know what I mean? Lele fucking with niggas still wearing brass knuckles and shit. Know what I mean? So I be trying to give y'all niggas warning. She a troll. Don't fall for her trap because really, she got the Paul Mason squad with her robbing niggas for bottles of Paul Mason in the Bronx. You heard? Straight up. Lele over there by motherfucking Castle Hill. Lele got niggas coming to Castle Hill and shit. Know what I mean? To the back and in the back. To the back of Castle Hill, you nigga going over there like, yeah, I'm going to meet up this bro, son. Nigga walking into the back of Castle Hill. Nigga like this. Nigga going to Castle Hill at 11.30. Heard Lele got niggas coming to Castle Hill Projects at 11.30 at night. With a bottle of Paul Mason and an eighth. You heard? $20 eighth from Dykeman with a bottle of Paul Mason. Nigga strolling into Castle Hill Projects at 11.30. Chasing that eggplant. It'd be a rap, nigga. It'd be a whole rap. Nigga fiend a nigga out. Nigga will fiend a nigga out. Shout out to Hook Off, man. Me and a nigga Hook Off just did a good episode. Know what I mean? Good episode. Son is locked up in the penitentiary. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to the Decepticons out there. You feel me? Forgive me, I know I'll be having y'all niggas hype. Know what I mean? I don't want y'all niggas to start. I don't want to see 50-year-old niggas on the train fucking niggas up. You heard this channel getting y'all Decepticon niggas hype. You're going to get on the C train one day, and a bunch of 50, 48-year-old, 50-year-old niggas going to get on the train mad deep. Like this. What's the flavor? Niggas start fucking niggas up again just because the channel was popping. I don't want that to happen. You feel what I'm saying? But I gotta represent the old school D. I mean, because gangs wasn't in New York. Now nah, gangs been in New York, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But um, I don't want y'all niggas 37 deep. I don't want y'all niggas meeting up at graphics, meeting up at printing. Big Dice and all y'all niggas start meeting up at printing. You heard fucking up high school kids and shit at 50 cash. Like, that'll be fucked up. Niggas are blaming on my channel. Like, yo, lad, son. Come on, son. You got DCEP out here again in the streets, son. You heard niggas 50 cash smashing niggas with hammers, robbing niggas on the train, son. Come on, son. Wilding out with your channel, son. You heard? So I got to be cautious, bro. Yerk. Raleigh 187. What's really good? Sir Early, what's popping? Zachary Moore, what's really good? Checking who in the building. Finesse the dawn. What's, what's, what's dropping? Slurp. King Far Rock. What's popping? Yeah, man. But Lele got them niggas. Lele got a nigga that just came home from doing 13 straight. Nigga just came home from doing 13 straight at Elmira. 
Nigga, Lele fucking with a nigga who just came home off a 13 year violation. You heard? Nigga did 13 on a violation. Nigga caught six, nigga caught the maximum, went up there and caught a new charge, man. Now that nigga get back in the streets fucking with Lele, trying to find some easy victims, man. So y'all niggas be careful. You heard? Hey, lay, you come over there thinking get some pussy, nigga, fiend you out. All you see is that sleeve from an old school lever. You know them old school levers, man? You know them old school levers that was out back in the days, the more type of cheap pictures on them and shit. That's all you gonna smell is that old school lever arm come around your neck like this. You be like, Lay, 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 Lay. Lay, Lay just gonna be like, listen, just give up the Paul Mason. Give up the seven day weekly Metro card. Give up the eighth and you won't be harmed. You heard? Them niggas is looking for that mace, nigga. That mace on. You heard? They looking for that mace and classified. Where my nigga Schlong Bong at, man? Schlong Lonely out this motherfucker. Where that nigga Schlong Bong? Let me make sure he ain't in the building. My nigga Schlong Bong is slipping, nigga. You slipping, son. Word, my nigga. You don't want to smell that leather. That leather arm, son, you going in there trying to fuck with Lele. Nigga catch you with that smelly leather. Nigga catch you with that smelly Canal Street leather arm. You know them Canal Street levers, the paint be coming off them shits and all of that? I had a mad bright green one. I was wilding out. You heard? Nah, but I, I done had some official shit off of Canal Street. Vintage, wild, crazy shit. You just got to pay a little bit more money. You know what I mean? But I had I had a crazy level. It's in one of my videos, matter of fact. That shit was that shit was legendary. I played myself and got that shit wet like a motherfucker. And it was never the same. But that level was legendary. But um I had a couple of garbage ass Canal Street levels too though. I had a motherfucking black one and I had a green one. The green one I left that shit on the radiator one day, that shit melted, nigga. I said, damn, what if a level just melts like this? It's that Canal Street level, nigga. Clever. You heard? Back in the days, it was a serious offense if you wore some fake leather. Now you get away with that shit all day. All type of brands make fake leather. Back in the days, you got caught with some pleather, nigga. You might have to relocate out to another school or something. You come to school with some pleather pants on. Niggas would be like, hey, yo, son, hold up. These is real leather? Let me see. Oh, shit, yo, son, this nigga got on the pleather, son. Nigga got on the pleather. Nigga, find out you had some pleather on, son. You will never live that shit down. To this day, you could be 50 years old and he's like, yo, what up, son? Remember you had the pleather shits on back in the days. Remember that shit, though, right? You're like, damn, son. Leave that shit alone already, my nigga. I was young. I wasn't buying my own clothes. But now nah, I done had some. I had the mother. I had a real. Remember when leather pants was the shit? See, when Ed, when Ed came on stage with them leather suits back in the days and delirious. Everybody started rocking leather. You heard niggas in the street started rocking leather. I mean, maybe niggas was rocking it before Ed, but after Ed rocked it, everybody started rocking leather. So I remember I had the gray leather Playboy shoes, real shit. That's when Playboys was decent. I had the gray leather Playboy shoes, and I had a pair of gray leather pants, nigga. The old school leather them shits is fire. Niggas need to come back out with them shits, nigga. What? The old school gray leather pants. Oh man, I used to throw them shits on with my gray leather Playboys, nigga. You could not tell me nothing, son. I'm talking about I was nine. You heard? I was nine years old. I had the Playboys with the Playboy leather with the pants. And I think I had a Playboy. I might have had a Playboy suit. I don't remember, man, but I know I had them gray leather Playboys. I had them leather pants, and them shits wasn't pleather, they was leather. You heard? Cause you couldn't do no motherfucking clever back in them days. Niggas might jump you, chase you home. Niggas might chase you home with a pair of clever on. Where was Bon Jovell? Zachary Moore was probably. Keys was really good. A few years ahead was probably Troy Wright Jr. was really. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nah, but it's a nice, beautiful breeze. It's a nice, beautiful breeze, man. 
Yeah, 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 ye
this Rikers Island shit, my nigga. Like, whoever designed Rikers Island, see, the reason why New York is a crazy place, bro, is because in other cities and states, they don't sentence 16-year-old kids as adults. They don't charge them as an adult. You feel me? In New York, they charge us as 16 years, 16 years old, you could get life, my nigga. You could get straight life at 16 years old in New York. You feel me? You you catch two bodies, you getting 50 to life. They don't care if you 16 years old. They will sentence you to 50 to life, my nigga. It ain't no juvenile breaks, nothing. They charge me with murder. You heard? And and my, my my I was facing 25 to life. They don't give a fuck. And I had just turned 16. They don't give a fuck in New York. You heard? So here it is, this maximum security prison in the middle of a fucking river somewhere, right? And y'all got a whole facility just for adolescents, right? And then technology is so out, um, is so uh, old school at that time. Niggas don't know if niggas is lying about their age or not, man. If you look young, you go into the four building, my nigga. If you tell them niggas you 16, 17, you go into the four building, Lord. Damn, somebody calling me, but I'm on live, man. I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm going to have to hit them back. Hold on, hold on, that might be the homie. Hold on. Yeah, that was my uncle calling me, man. I'm going to try to squeeze the story out of him right quick. You heard? LTV was popping. Alberto Rojas was really good. Tina Smith populating. Willie Hodges, what up? Yeah, I see y'all in the building. Joey Freaks was popping. Cali, what up? Southern Cali was really good. Low Bull Kennels was popping. Sean Penn, what up? Yo, listen, if y'all dudes ain't comment on the latest video that's, that I just dropped today, go leave a comment on that. You heard? I gotta, I gotta get off this right quick and go holla at some important people. You feel what I'm saying? And um. I'm going to get back at y'all dudes. But tomorrow morning, we dropping off. 9 o'clock in the morning, new episode is dropping. Most likely. You heard? Most likely. If you two approve my shit on time, and I'm sure they will. So, you know what I mean? 9 o'clock in the morning, I'll be on live at around, or maybe 9.30. You know what I mean? I'll be on live at around 8.30, and we banging off with that season two of the story of LG. It's going to be epic. You heard? Episode is epic. Holla at me.